Okay, class, this is a transformer. Okay, so what is transformer? A transformer is an electrical device. So this is your textbook, you see. It's a device that it can change the voltage. So the function of transformer is to change the voltage. But you have to pay attention here. It is for alternating current only. Previous lesson, we learned about alternating current and direct, cu direct current. And we actually emphasized that direct current, direct current, you cannot change the voltage. But alternating current, you can change the voltage. So what is the device that used to change the voltage of alternating current? That is what we call transformer. So transformer change voltage of alternating current so in your exam if question asks what is transformer i want to see changing of voltage of alternating current okay so if you say it's a device to change voltage wrong because i want you to emphasize it is only for alternating current transformer doesn't work on direct current okay so this is transformer look like so the first coil here we call it primary coil the second coil here we call it secondary coil so to determine whether it is step up or step down you look at the number of turn this one have more right primary coil this is the input and this is the output so this one more this one less turn right so this is step down transformer just as simple as that so we have two type of transformer you see that step up transformer and step down transformer this is the drawing of transformer and this is the symbol of it so you look at this one primary coil less secondary coil more step up transformer so the drawing also this one less this one more step up transformer okay primary coil more turns secondary coil less turn this is what you call step down transformer okay so this is step down transformer okay so step up transformer is to increase the voltage and then step down is to decrease the voltage lah, but it is for alternating currents so how does it work it is actually still remember we said that to produce current induce current we must have what we must have changing in magnetic flux alternating current because it keep changing the direction right so they are overall changing of magnetic flux line that's why it only uh, this thing only can be functioning uh, with alternating current we don't have direct current direct current no changing okay it's only one direction that's it so there is no changing there is no induced emf or induced current okay so for the application of transformer let's say uh, you get an electrical device from overseas okay so we know that uh, the sarawak energy provide 240 volt actually the entire malaysia we get 240 volt okay so let's say i i get a uh, anything let's say tv okay from japan let's say or from usa okay so the voltage supply in others country probably uh, lower okay let's say 120 volt so if i plug in my tv to 240 volt that this tv can only stand for 120 volt it will actually burn the whole things that's why we have to make sure that the voltage being stepped down before it is used for our electrical appliance like tv uh, uh, radio whatever gadget that you use okay then you have to buy one step down transformer to step down it so this is the uh, example and this is when we need a uh, transformer for example this uh, the example in your textbook is the mobile phone charger so this is mobile phone charger if you open up this if you have a mobile phone charger that no longer in use you can actually open up it this is a transformer inside so whoever have this uh, uh, please take photo and show in Google Classroom so that everybody can see what is actually inside you open it and then you see it is actually transformer because we need to step down the voltage before it go to the phone okay so this is the function of transformer uh, we have many kind of transformer uh, it can be big size or smaller size depends on the voltage that uh, you are going to use okay so solving problem related relate, related to transformer you see that this transformer you have many output okay so this one you can actually change it this is what this is the remote control or this is the control of the fan uh, normal fan that in your classroom okay so you will change number one number two number three number four right so you see that if you connect here less turn to volt 
more turn forward probably this is uh, speed number one number two number three number four and number five so when you adjust to number five the fan will turn in faster speed right because the voltage supply is higher okay so you will fix at this point and then uh, another wire is actually uh, uh, movable adjustable here okay that is the usage of transformer transformer is everywhere actually it's just all electrical gadget all electrical devices we have this okay it's just that we didn't realize okay so regarding the calculation of transformer so you look at this example okay i explained in google classroom already i hope they still understand so you see that the the number of turn here, primary coil is 120 turn. And then we don't know secondary turn, what is the number of turn. But you know that you are going to change 200 volt, you change it to 40 volt. So how many times that you actually reduce the voltage? So how many times we will do divide, right? Okay. So it is six times reduced. So if six times reduced, this number of turn must be six times reduced also. So 120 divided by six is... 20 volt oh, sorry 20 turns so from 120 to 20 turns then you can step down your voltage from 240 to 40 volt you go by ratio which is a very simple mathematic calculation you can get it from your textbook of course in exam sometime formula will be given formula will be given but i think that for this simple calculation we don't really need formula as long as you understand the concept okay uh, your homework will be formative practice 6.1, 6.2, actually not much. Uh, the question actually very simple. Okay, now we go to the transmission. So the transmission of electrical energy from uh, the power supply, power station to our house, we call the whole thing, entire thing, national grid network. Okay, so what does it mean by national grid network? You see that this is our power supply, uh, power plant, power station, power plant, probably like Bakun. Uh, hydroelectric and then before it because this bakun it only pro produce 11 kilovolt or 25 kilovolt thousand volt not 11 kilo thousand volt or 25 thousand volt which is not enough because we need higher voltage when the voltage is higher it will actually flow very fast right the current will flow very fast that's why we need bn here is the first substation we call it step up transformer so it will step up the voltage from 11 kilovolt to 132 kilovolt or 25 to 275 or 500 kilovolt so you see that it is very huge huh? the voltage is very huge voltage is energy okay so we need high energy so that current can flow very fast we don't want current flow electric current flow very slow because when it flow very slow energy will be lost as heat energy which considered as wastage of energy we don't want that to happen so the current flow very fast because high voltage so long distance long distance it go to certain area let's say it come to miri city and then before it go to industry area then we have step down transformer because we cannot use 500 kilovolt that it will burn out the whole entire uh, uh, factory all the electrical device will be will burn out so we have to step it down so here we have substation uh, substation or we call it switch zone switch zone it will switch to here switch to here it's just like cross junction right you switch to here here so it will distribute evenly like 33 here 33 here and then it will be stepped down okay using transformer okay when you go to like hospital office or houses or school uh, light industry area heavy industry area we all have our own substation or uh, step down transformer is there okay then it will step down to the uh, demands the voltage that we need for that factory or the housing area and so on so the whole thing here is what you call national grid network so national grid network remember the key point here is that the voltage is very high and then if let's say one power plant power station shut down the others can help to continuously supply so there is no uh, problem we want when we want to maintain for certain uh, uh, 
substation or certain power station. That's, that's the benefit of National Grid Network. It can make sure, it ensure the continuously uh, supply of electric current. Okay, and second point that you have to know for National Grid Network is that the transmission voltage is very high to avoid energy loss as heat energy. Okay, so you have to give me exactly the keyword avoid energy loss as heat energy. And also, why is it we need national grid network? Because you have uh, you have continuously supply of the uh, electric current. Okay, so this is all about the transmission of electrical energy, and then the whole the tower here we call it pylon, uh, P Y L O N S. This thing we call pylon. There was one in PD three question asked what this tower name. You don't tell me Eiffel Tower. That is pylon. Okay, so national grid network. Now we go to electrical wiring system in Malaysia. We have two types. One we call it single phase wiring, which is a uh, very stable. You have only one suitable and stable electrical uh, supply. Another one is three phase. Three phase is uh, normally for uh, usage that more than ten kilowatt. Normal household we use single phase, and then for industry area we use three phase wiring. Uh, and because the electrical consumption is very high unless your house is very powerful or controlled by electricity and then you have very chang'e uh, electrical gadget then you think that single phase is not enough you can apply for three phase wiring of course the billing the cost is very different okay so this one we use it for uh, like hospital school shopping complex uh, or a whole big building like office okay so we have two phase you have to understand that and then the cutting point is 10 kilowatt okay so below 10 kilowatt single above 10 kilowatt triple okay finally we go to the wiring system of electrical supply so I explained everything already in Zoom classroom, uh, Zoom class. I hope that you still remember. I said that live wire is where the electrical current, electric current come in. Okay, and then it go through the meter. Okay, before it go through the meter, you have fuse box. Fuse box is to make sure that the current is not too huge. If the current that enter your house is too huge, it will burn out everything, right? So the fuse box is to ensure that you have certain limit of electric current supply okay you go through the meter and then you go through all those uh, uh wiring uh electrical gadget go to your room living room uh, aircon refrigerator so on so on so on and then you have to remember that huh almost all electrical gadget they have their own fuse small fuse okay after using all these things it will come out you uh, by this red cut uh, blue color things huh? red go in blue come out okay so blue will come out to this neutral wire remember live wire in neutral wire out in case there are extra current what will happen uh, if there is extra current the extra current will flow to the earth wire okay yeah this is very good diagram i told you in class this is the thing that buried under the ground that probably in your in your house compound or backyard you don't really realize it it is covered and then you see that there is word do not remove safety electrical earth okay so all these earth wire will connect to this uh, metal this iron metal block so that it can flow extra current to the earth extra we don't need extra it is very dangerous okay remember live wire in neutral wire out earth wire for extra current okay that we don't need okay that's the for the wiring system at our home okay now you look at the pin that we have hong kong india north america japan europe every country they have their own different shape of the plug in malaysia we have two type one we call it three pin plug another one we call it two pin plug so for electrical uh, appliance that consume very low electric current that we use two pin plug the socket two pin only for electrical appliance such as uh, uh, kettle iron 
uh, aircon that it consumes high electricity, then we have three pin plug. That three pin extra one is actually the earth wire. So you see that live wire come in, it will go through fuse because we have to make sure that that come in. The coming in current is not exiting certain amount of uh, current. Okay, and then after using all, it go through a uh, neutral wire and then it go out to substation, right? So if there is any extra, this thing of wire will always connect to the metal body of the device itself. Let's say you have refrigerator, the earth wire will connect to the body of the refrigerator. So if you flow extra current to the earth, then when you touch the refrigerator, you won't get electrocute. Okay, uh, so let's say you have, uh, uh, let's say kettle, yes, electrical kettle. And then the electrical kettle have actually earth wire that connect to the body of the kettle itself. It will flow extra current in case there is any. Okay, this is to make sure that uh, we are in safe condition. So in our, in our household wiring system, we have only two safety feature. That is earth wire and another thing we call it fuse. Now look at fuse. Okay, this is how simple fuse look like. So it's very simple structure that you have only one wire. If the fuse here labeled 5 ampere, current that more than 5 ampere flow through, it will melt the fuse wire and then it break. Current cannot flow anymore. It's just to make sure that the uh, current is not exceeding certain amount. In our light bulb, we have fuse. Okay, in uh, all electrical appliances, we have fuse. Three pin plug, we have fuse. All the plug, we have actually fuses. Okay, so the fuse that we use is like 3 ampere, 5 ampere, 10 ampere, and 13 ampere. We have to make sure that the fuse that we choose slightly lower. Remember, slightly lower than the electrical consumption of the gadget. Okay. So you see, this is very simple wire. So once it burn, what do you have to do? Uh? You just throw this away, you replace a new fuse. Uh? Or you can change the wire itself. Okay, depends on kind of fuse. And we have actually cartridge fuse, uh, simple fuse and so on. Okay, now this is the type of fuse. You see that glass, glass casing fuse, metal cap fuse. It is not a new thing, right? And this is a replaceable wire fuse. You can change the wire itself and then you buy whole roll of wire and then you change it. There is a fuse that we have. Okay, how to determine the value of fuse? We have to make sure we use P equal to IV, power equal to current times voltage. Okay, so we want to determine the current, right? So let's say I have an uh, electrical gadget that it is 20 watt. 20 watt and then the voltage that using is 240 volt so what is the fuse what is the current flow through so you see 20 watt current 240 so the current will be 20 divided by 240 so this is the current that we are going to use you see that it is very small right so we don't need fuse for this case 20 watt is just very small power okay so we get some uh, very high power things like uh, like uh, iron, okay? So iron, uh, let's say I have iron which is the power of iron is 200 watt, okay? The power of iron is 200 watt and then the voltage supply is 240 volt. So I'm going to determine what is the fuse, what is the current that flow through the iron, right? So P equal to IV, remember this, 200 equal to I divided, divided by 240. So your current is 240. So it is around 0 0.9 something. So you have to use the fuse as one ampere fuse. Okay, I don't have calculator roughly. Lah. Okay, so you have to use fuse one ampere, which is slightly higher than the current that used by the iron. Okay, so this is the example of calculation. Remember the formula that we use is power divided, power equal to IV, power equal to IV. Okay, this is the things that we have to know. Okay, now look at this kettle. Kettle have two electrical uh, safety feature. One is earth wire. Earth wire, you see that earth wire actually connected uh, to the body and then you have uh, go in and out. 
and this is a wire that connected to the body and then you have fuse so we have two safety feature here fuse and earth wire okay earth wire connect the metal casing to earth okay metal casing you don't really connect it to plastic casing okay makes sense right so that's all for this that will be another part we call it the calculation and the cost of electrical consumption this will be next lesson okay class i hope that you really follow everything i hope that at least you have rough idea what is that all about electric current okay thank you